Okay guys, welcome back to the uh, channel. Today's video we are working on my 2022 Ram 2500. It's Cummins, 6.7. Six, <clears throat> six in a row, you're ready to tow, they said. <laughs> so silly. I've kind of already done this oil change on this channel before. It was on a 2019 uh, one ton. Same motor, uh, very similar approach. Uh, you're gonna need no tools, special tools for this. Uh, yes, I know they do make a special tool at Gino's garage where you can thread the oil filter into the tool and you can insert it in and get it up without making a mess. But I'm gonna show you how I use my plastic bag trick. Catches about 95% of the oil, it's free. And the intervals on this, uh, this 22 Cummins, I've traveled about 24,000 kilometers on my first oil change. So this is the first oil change. We're gonna be doing the oil, the filter, uh, both fuel filters. This truck has two different fuel filters. We're gonna be going over that. We're also going to have a peek at the um, air filter. I haven't checked the manual to see if the air filter needs to be changed or not, but uh, I'm going to have a look at mine. I don't like this was pretty expensive, so I'm not sure if I'm going to change it yet. But um, I am using valve line premium blue. This is uh, Cummins uh, formulated. It's the 540 uh, heavy duty extreme blue premium blue. So you got 12 liters of that or 12 quarts. Uh, we're in Canada 12. Uh, they come in four four liter uh, jugs, which is perfect. So I'm gonna use up all three. Uh, for these oil changes, um, I'll probably catch a lot of flack. I don't pre-fill the filters. I just go put them in. I just cycle the, cycle the uh, key a couple times, start it up, let it run for a day, and then I uh, recheck the oil and top her up if need be. I've never had any issues. I know guys talk about running pumps dry and all that stuff, but uh, uh, I've never had an issue in any of my vehicles and I think by, you know, nowadays, it's, it's not really a, not really an issue, but you do what you want to do. I'm using a Wix filter. It's five, seven, six, two, zero. Um, I would probably recommend you get the Mopar filter because this actually cost me more and it's not even OEM. Uh, they do say the filtration is better on these, but I would stick with the, the Mopar, but that's what I have. So I'm using it. Um, other than that, let's get after it. I'm going to get into the car here, under the truck, going to drain the oil and we'll pop the filter. All right, well, hopefully you can see that, guys. Um, on previous 2019 uh, Cummins video I had, I'm pretty sure the oil drain was a, like a you know, 14 or 15 millimeter, but this one here could, is um, a square. It looks like it's 3 8 yeah, So I'm literally just taking my 3 8 socket with an extension and uh, it should be good. Hopefully you guys can see that. Woo. That's dark. <laughs> Now, you gotta make sure you got a decent pan because 12 liters, quite a bit. So I'm gonna rotate some way. And it comes flying out of there. I got a lot of wind right now, so I'm gonna get out from underneath this truck before it sprays me. <laughs> Get in here and just gonna uh, pull the uh, pull the dipstick out a little bit. Open the cap. That's gonna let a lot more air flow through. Now while that's draining, we should have a look at our our next objective. Here is this uh, oil filter. So there it is. It is kind of tricky to get to. Um, we're gonna do the plastic bag trick, like I said. You've got to pull it pull it out sideways and put it in sideways because if I remember correctly there's not enough room uh, that way unless they've redesigned it. All right so we're on to the uh, oil filter so I'm using this style of uh, um, filter wrench kind of like uh, slip joint claws and then they rotate up so because if I recall on the 19 like it was like insane amount of torque and you don't got much room in there so I'm gonna crack it and then I'm gonna uh, uh, once I get it a little bit loose, I'll get in there with my bag and I'll take it all off. So, uh, the image probably looks a bit 
blown out, but I'm just, I was trying to get you in there to see. You're never gonna be able to see, but it'll make sense when you do it. <laughs> I remember with my father-in-law's 2019, it was really hard to get that filter off from the factory, like I said. Uh, this thing, like I know I don't work out anymore, but like that's crazy. I could not get it going. Um, I took the wheel off to get a little more in there and I still couldn't get it. So I took my fine tool and I'm sorry, brand new truck. I cut a little triangle here so I can actually get my hand in. And uh, I know I'll get chirped for it, but I gotta hit the gym more. So now I got her, I got her moving by hand now. It's kind of nice I can get my, get in there. So same idea as last time, just gonna bring this in. Kind of nicer with the tire off, to be completely honest. You know, seven eighths, uh, seven eighths uh, to get the wheel off. I just slide that. I hope you guys can see that, but you kind of get the idea, I'm sure. Like, <laughs> there it is. You get about sixteenth inch of a turn. There you go. You just pull it out like that. That's all I do. All right, I'm gonna actually. I filled it up about half. I'm gonna try and quickly get it up and up and in there without miss making a huge mess. But uh, ah, we'll try. Obviously, if I had Gino's special tool, it'd be super easy. But there we go. That's not so bad. Beauty hubcaps, eh? Chrome, baby. Got your favorite funnel. Like I said, it's calling for 12 quarts, 12 liters. Um, I'm gonna put probably 11 and a half in or so and uh, run it for a day and then I'll check it out. Yeah. All the jugs are in. All right, let me see. I might have to shut the door here. Oh, no, 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 we're going. We're going. Hold the reset. There you go, we're back up to 100. Okay, so that was a little more painful than I wanted it to be, but the next one will be nicer, I promise. <laughs> um, that's the engine uh, portion. Let's get on to the fuel filters. All right, guys, we're on to the front fuel filter, okay? Um, this one's located underneath. Oh, that's way messed up. Underneath this big plug, look, there's your um, head. Big plug directly below that. Jam a light down in there. There she is. That's the housing. And that is the drain uh, uh, screw, okay? On the back side of that, you'll see a rubber hose. It's clear. It's really hard to see. From what I can tell, it looks like it's going down and just in front of the, uh, just underneath the front diff. All right, so yeah, I did take the, uh, I did open the um, yellow drain valve and where the fuel's draining is directly underneath the diff. The front diff, you'll see the arch in the diff and the fuel hits the diff, runs down and goes right down the center. And uh, you put your uh, drain pan under there and you're gonna catch it. You're gonna get some diesel fuel on your, um, you know, front drivetrain, but it's good for it. Um, next is to, uh, loosen the filter housing okay so an inch and an eighth with a half inch drive i'm using something like this if you can see that all right so i'm breaking the seal there i can feel the o-rings letting go now actually there's instructions with mine that was the ms291 i think it was it says just to open it slow there you go just let some of that fuel drain out. Pretty common for most cartridge type oil filters. Get in there, I'm just taking a couple turns, gonna let it do its thing. Oh yeah, I can hear it draining now. So it says to give it about two minutes. All right, so I don't hear any more uh, fuel. It's been about, I let it go for about 10 minutes, but I've got it right loose. So I'm taking the cap off, there it is. And um, ready to pull up on this filter hosing. And what I'm doing is just kind of 
yeah, like I'm just pushing back and forth and pulling straight up, okay, the way that this uh, filter is. It doesn't thread in, it just kind of pops in there. You can look at the uh, new one and you'll know. All right, pull that right out of there. It's pretty straightforward here. This is just gonna wiggle back in like it came out. And then you have a large O-ring here which goes on the actual um, filter housing. You'll see it, it's pretty uh, easy there. There it is, right down there, okay? So pop that off and change it. Um, make sure you get the grooves right, okay? Tightened up my drain uh, screw there, it was just a half turn. And then I went ahead, pushed my filter in. I pushed the O-ring all the way down, make sure it's seated all the way around, like I said. Then throw your cap on. I'm sure there's a torque spec for, but for these cartridge filters. I just go as tight as I can and then you'll feel it just kind of bottom out. You'll hear it squeaking and then it'll stop and you won't get no more. And uh, then you're done, obviously. So I got the rear filter here and that's the uh, part number with the uh, 6631AA. It's just this. This one's just got the one O-ring that came with it. Now the filter is located at the rear of the truck here. I'll show you. Directly above the drive shaft you're gonna see the uh, filter housing here, okay? Now, it looks to me like right there, there's a thumb screw with a little, there's a little nub next to the ring. I'm pretty sure that's how you drain the filter. I haven't done this rear one yet, so. Um, I don't have a hose, that looks really small, like, like quarter inch or three eighths or something. I don't have a hose to hook onto that so I can drain it nicely. But I do have this old tortilla uh, chip dip thing I'm gonna put underneath and run it with my finger and try to catch it without wearing it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain that. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, well, I got diesel all over the camera, God damn it. Um, yeah, so that did work the exact way I thought it would. Um, you open it a little bit and then you keep opening and it just comes shooting out of that little hole. So um, we lost quite a bit of fuel in that filter. Um, so yeah, inch and an eighth, I think, whatever I said earlier, it fits on this one as well, same cartridge housing, and we'll work it down. I'm gonna bring another um, big, big pan though, because I don't know what's gonna come flying out of there, although we drained it, you know, there could always be some residuals, and I don't wanna be wearing it, so I do have another pan below me. All right, fair warning. A bunch of fuel came flying out of that girl. It got was so tight and I kept going and going and then all of a sudden it popped and it just got out of the way. Um, pardon my French, fuel flew everywhere, but yeah, take your time and just be prepared. It's gonna come flying at you. A little bit of a different design, I think, on these 22s um, with this cartridge style, but it's down. Um, we'll uh, change the O-ring and we'll get the fuel filter changed. All right, like I said, definitely watch yourself, man. That was crazy. Um, this popped off. I see I've got an extremely loose O-ring here. That's going to be for this, uh, this one here. Okay. Transfer that to that, put that there and reinstall and just, uh, you know, tighten it up. You're going to feel the bottom out and that's pretty much it. Okay. Moment of truth. Now, oh, just covered in crap. Uh, we lost a bunch of fuel. Like I figure at least a liter between that front drain, the rear drain, and there was a ton in that rear housing. Um, when you go separate that filter from the housing on the bottom, there's still a bunch of fuel in there and then you eat it, so you gotta watch yourself. So we gotta prime this, this system here, which should be putting it in the run. Oh, something there, yep. I'm gonna prime it probably at, at least eight times, I would say. All right, just like that, she purrs like a kitten. Let's check the, uh, check for leaks. All right, fellows, we're getting real close. The last, uh, last little service here is the um, air filter. Takes a flathead, Phillips, or what looks like possibly 10 millimeter you know, or girls, like girls can do this service, anybody can do this service, it's it's really not too bad, especially an air filter. Um, th this is a 10 millimeter, and I advise you use a ratchet. Got a sp 
spam call. So yeah, take all these off and we'll pop it out. Okay, so what I've noticed on the 22, I don't know if it's the same as maybe previous models, but this little lip right here is um, catching on the frame, like part piece of steel here holds this uh, front shroud on. So with all the bolts just loose, they kind of, you don't have to remove them completely. You can leave them threaded in uh, to the housing. And I, I kind of pushed the whole, forced the whole thing over and up and I'm able to get, get this open. And now, get at this filter. Like I was saying earlier, I don't know if I'm gonna put a new one in yet or not. Oh yeah, this thing's full of crap. Woo! Holy shit. I did not expect that after, well, 25,000 kilometers, but a bunch of cat hair. I actually prefer um, reusable KTM filters, which I ran in my Eco Diesel, still am. I, I put probably 200, well, at least 180,000 kilometers on the same filter, and it just, it works good. Clean it every oil change, oil it up. All right, that Wix one fits just snug in there. And then to put this back on, like I was saying, I had to, like there's some wiggle room going that way. Get down in there. Sorry guys, I'm losing daylight here. Um, pro tip, you know, when you're putting it back on, pull it this way, push it down, pull it this way, make that lip work. And then make sure all your screws are upright and, you know, sitting at the hole where they're gonna go because when you start tightening one down, you'll forget one, it'll be all cockeyed, and then you'll be screwed. You'll have to take them all out again, pull it up, make sure they're seating straight down, and then just uh, snug them up, okay? All right, let's jump into the cab now and I'll show you where the cabin air filter is. All right, so it's gonna be tough to see this because it, it's always a pecker head in here, but the, um, the filter's inside and, and I'm behind the glove box. So just take all your stuff out. It's, uh, you're gonna take the insides here. You can kind of see where they hook on the top there. Oh, they actually cut a uh, an indent in that one there. You do gotta kinda of force it a little bit, okay? There's this one here, there's a slit on this side, that side there isn't. And uh, maybe I'll take you off the tripod and I'll show you here, you'll see. You can see where it says air. You just, uh... oh, can I do it with one hand backwards? No, that's not possible. Yeah, just pull that out, make note of the airflow, and uh, stick a new one in. I'm gonna have a look at mine. Um, like I said earlier in the be uh, beginning there, I, um, forgot to buy one. So I'm just pulling it out for demonstration purposes, have a look at it. And then, um, you know, obviously if you have yours, change it. Okay guys, well that's it for this um, complete service video on the 2022 Ram 2500 um, with the Cummins motor, 6.7 liter. Uh, went over all the stuff there. Um, I wanted to point out a good resource. Um, I wasn't entirely sure on how much oil to put in it. I thought it was around 12 liters. Uh, I just went to Amsoil the Amsoil website, <clears throat> put your vehicle information in and it will show you, you know, engine, different transmissions, front and rear diff, transfer case, all the liquids in that vehicle. It'll actually show you the capacity for everything in one big shot. So for me, it was 11 and a half liters with the filter. Uh, you can see I pre pre filter, uh, pre loaded it, um, about half cause I didn't, I don't have a tool to bring it in and unscrew it and bring it up. So, um, it worked just fine. Yeah, so everything's in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously leave them below. If you're a um, returning subscriber, um, welcome back. If you're new, consider subscribing. We're a homesteading and how-to channel. We do lots of our own maintenance on this channel. Everything from tractors to trucks. We got sawmills and log splitters and everything to get a little homestead going. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.